Hey. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Zegarabado, Zekato Sakata. The song is called We Magnify, We Glorify Your Name. Oh, Bazada Gazikata to Dega Shaka to Leda. Missy Karabade. Come on, all of you online, just begin to pray with me. Oh, Balado, Zikarabada, Shika Tete, Manto Gisa Katala Baba. Oh, Shakaradada. Masukara Baba Seke Lebebo. Oh, Basakaradada. Masukalia Katoleba. Messi Karababa, God bless you, Valeria. Oh, Basaka Yababa. Oh, Basaka Radade. Oh, Masika Roboka Shata Radada. Masuli Kalababa. Oh, Basaka Rababa. Maseke Rebe. Masheke Rebebe. Masaka Radada. We magnify you, God. We glorify you, God. We give you praise, God. We give you honor, God. We give you adoration. We give you thanksgiving. We thank you for this day. We worship you, God. There is no one like you, God. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you for the love revival. We thank you that you are doing something new. Something new is brewing. We thank you. It's coming from your throne, from your heart, to your people. We thank you, God. We thank you for the gathering of the saints who are just going to gather and come together because they want this one thing. This one thing they desire is your heart your heart of love therefore father we come this afternoon I come with my friends online and we just begin to thank you for the new birthing out, for the thing that you are releasing in this season, in our time, oh God. Father, I thank you. Father, I bless you. Father, I magnify you. Father, I glorify you. Thank you, Father, for love revival. I said there's going to be a love revival. Oh, Sante Kera Baba. Oh saka terede meso ko radada manto ko sikara baba moko sayata meko sokoto meko sakete oba shikara dada oba shikara dede oba karada how many of you online believe there's going to be a love revival in our time come on declare it just hashtag on there just hashtag love revival put hearts all over just comment love revival love revival let's proclaim it let's decree together oh saka ta 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 oh baka saka take koko baba ba masuka radada masuke rebobo oh shaka baba come on proclaim it <coughs> proclaim it love revival Comment, put love revival. Love revival, we superimpose it. It's coming in the name of Jesus. Oh, shakaradada. Oh, shakaradada. We activate today. We activate today. You activate today. Zuta ka zuka gago zoka turigada. Me zuka ke ko zuka radada. Me zuka rababa. Me zuke ratata. Me zuka radada. Mo saka yaba. Mo seka rababa. Mo sika yaba. Me sika la baba. Oh jeke rodobo. Oh jika soko to rodado. We glorify you. Thank you for the fire of revival. Thank you for the wind of revival. Thank you for the move that is coming on earth. We proclaim, we decree in the name of Jesus. We say, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be in the name of Jesus. Love, revival, love, revival all over the world. We proclaim it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be love, there will be love over hatred, over jealousy, over strife. Oh my God, my God, my God. We proclaim today. In America, there will be love revival. In Africa, there will be love revival. In Europe, there will be love revival. In America, South America, North America, there will be love revival. In Asia, we proclaim, we decree, we release love revival in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release it upon the heart of the people of God. There shall be love revival. We proclaim it today. It's not just going to be a one day fly, but it's going to be a move. I decree the move, the move of love, the move of people who believe in love, 
the move of people we go back to love them the move of people who live by love them the move of people who seek the heart of the father oh my god my god my god i proclaim this move i decree this move upon the apostles upon the prophets upon the evangelists upon the pastors upon the teachers upon the intercessors upon the prayer warriors i decree and declare love revival Come on, somebody pray with me. Come on, somebody proclaim with me. Come on, release it all over Facebook. Just begin to comment. We decree and proclaim a love revival. For our God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It's because of love that God gave heaven's best. Because of love, Jesus came down to save the souls of men. Because of love, Jesus hung upon the cross. It was love that hung upon the cross because of you, because of me, because of all of us, our family and welfare, heaven gave his best, his name is Jesus, he is love, he is an embodiment of what love looks like, what love feels like, oh my God, my God, my God, we proclaim love, love we overtake, hatred, love we overtake, witchcraft, love we overtake, jealousy, love we overtake, competition, love we overtake, my God, my my God, the Bible says that he will take the stony heart and he will give us the heart of blood and flesh. In this season, I come by the power of the Holy Ghost and I say, let the power of God penetrate the heart of the people of God. Let there be a transfer. Let there be a new heart that the heart that have been hiding be taken away and the love of God begin to come into the heart of the people of God. I speak to hearts. I speak to hearts that the hearts in this season, there will be something. There will be blood and flesh. I decree healing. I decree healing. I decree restoration of souls in the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree a love revival. We decree a love revival. Are you decreeing with me? Are you proclaiming with me? Oh, there will be a move like never before. And this time, people are not going to be crying for the, only for the Holy Ghost fire. But they are going to be saying, God, show us your love once again. God, give us your love once again. Teach us how to love once again. Direct us how to love once again. Heal us to love once again. People are going to be loving God like never before. Children are going to be loving their prayers like never before. The hearts of the Father. We turn to the sons and the hearts of the sons. We turn to the Father. There will be a reconciliation in this season because when the love revival hit the earth there's going to be healing. Healing of relationships. Healing of mind. Healing of people. Healing of apostles. Healing of prophets. Healing of the people of God. In the name of Jesus I decree and declare that pastors who are fighting against each other, they will find love and they will forgive one another and they will reconcile for the purpose of God, for the glory of God, because God said, love ye one another. Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. So Father, we proclaim that there will be a love revival in the church. There will be a love revival with your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, I cry out, I pray, oh God, for forgiveness of our sins. In the place that we have failed you, that we begin to gossip, that we begin to forsake one another, we begin to betray one another, we begin to destroy one another, we try to push each other down, Father we cry out for forgiveness Oh God, my Lord, uh, Father, forgive us uh, in the places, oh God, um, where we have betrayed each other. Instead of covering each other in prayer, my God, break our hearts again um, for the things that break your heart. Um, so many of us, oh God, um, we are running up and down. Um, we are doing everything in your name, um, but we have lost the fruit of love. Um, we have lost the, lost the gift of love um, because your word says um, in Romans 5 and 5, um, the book of Romans uh, chapter 5. Five, and verse 5, it says that God has poured the love, love in our hearts and through the Holy Spirit. The love of God has been poured, has been shed and brought upon our hearts. So Father God, tonight activate, activate that love that was, what was once shed upon our hearts. Is anybody out there praying? 
We release a love revival. We release it all over the world. I decree and declare that this love revival, it will come like a tsunami. It will come like a rushing wind. It will come like a mighty wind. And it shall overtake the people of God. The people of God will be overtaken by the love of God. It will be like fire shot up in their bosom. No one will be able to escape. Babies will be filled with the love of God. Children with the love of God. Husbands will love their wife again. Wives will love their husband again. Again, in the name of Jesus, come on, somebody pray with me. Are you out there praying with me? Are you decreeing with me? Right now, you are receiving an impartation. Right now, you are receiving an impartation to be a career of love revival. Oh God. In the name of Jesus, you watching me right now, I proclaim over you, I decree over you, I declare over you, you will be a carrier of the love of God, you will share the love of God to the orphans, to the broken, to the needy, to the widows, you will no longer turn your eyes on the other side, but you will begin to pray, you will begin to groan, you will stand in the gap for those who cannot stand for themselves, because when you see a broken wall, when you see a broken a gate, when you see a broken fence, when you see a broken something, like Jesus began to look, he began to look onto Jerusalem, and the Bible says, Jesus became compassionate, his heart was full with compassion, his heart was full with love, for the people of Israel, who were, who were walking around, like orphans, like they have no shepherd, that's how you will be, you will carry the burden of Christ and you will begin to love and you will begin to pray you will begin to protect and you will begin to win souls for Christ because Jesus says if you love me obey my commandment and he commanded us in Matthew 28 he said go ye into the world and make disciples teach these new disciples to do all that I've commanded you to do go back to the will of God let's go back to winning souls. Let's go back to obeying Christ. He said, if you love me, let's go back to loving Christ. So we need to be. If we love God, we should stop running around head and scatter. But we must go back and do the will of God. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandment. And the greatest commandment he's given us is to love one another. Is to love God with all our heart. Is to love at each other. Is to win souls for Christ. Because the souls you win for Christ is the only true gift you can give back for Christ. That's the ultimate love. That's the ultimate love to show God. Somebody decree love revival. Write it down on the charter write it down on the comment so we proclaim them we release them we decree them we proclaim them a love revival hateful heart that will be infected by the love of God by the agape love of God none will be able to escape I release it like a fire I release it worldwide I say worldwide let there be a fire Oh, yes, let there be revival, a love revival that God we are working our hearts again to begin to beat for the things that makes the heart of God to beat. We decree there will be a love revival in the UK. There will be a love revival in Netherlands. There will be a love revival in your family. There will be a love revival in marriages. I proclaim and decree a love revival between husbands and wives. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a change. Let there be a shifting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the love revival is coming to America. America, get ready. There is going to be a move. It's a move of God. It's going to shake nations. It's going to shake demonic kingdoms because nobody can, can, can escape what God is about to do. Enough is enough. What we need is love. Let's go back to love. Let's move in love. Let's speak in love. Let's talk in love. Let's preach in love. Everything we do, the Bible says, this, all these things, we have to go back to love. 
The Bible speaks. It speaks in 1 Corinthians 13 and 13. It speaks about all these things that are great. It spoke about faith. It spoke about hope. But he said, the greatest of all these uh, is love. If you have hope, you don't have love. You still have nothing. If you have faith, uh, you don't have love. You still have nothing. Because love is the foundation of Christianity. Because everything started with love. For God so loved the world. It didn't start with faith. It didn't start with hope. It started with love. The love of God. And that's what God wants to give back to the church. The church has lost its power. The church has lost its power. Because we preach the gospel. Because we run ministries. We run churches. We run revival services. There is no love. But there is proud. There is pride. There is ego. Go back to love. Go back to love. God sent me here as a voice in the wilderness, crying out to the nations, crying out to the body of Christ. That God said, My church, it's time you pick up the mantle of love. It's time you pick up the commandment of love and go back to love. Teach my people how to love. Teach this generation how to love. God is saying, Go back to love. Teach your church about love. Tell your people about love. Teach your children about the agape love of God. We are not talking about the selfish love. What is all about you? It's not all about you. It's not all about me. We need to repent from selfishness. We are preaching a selfish gospel. We are preaching for our own pockets. But it is time for you to sacrifice. Because love sacrifice. Love not put a demand for money for prophecy. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Where the sick will come to your conferences and you turn them away because they cannot give you money. Prophets of God, you false prophets, you are being one today. You are tricking the people of God. You are putting many in bondage with your false gospel, with your greedy gospel. There is no love in the gospel you are sharing. There is no love in your prophecy. There is no love in your command, with your, with your, with your programs. It's all about you. But it ought not to be all about you. When God sent Jesus Christ, God did not think of himself. He gave his one thing. Um, he gave his only begotten son um, for the souls of men. Uh, pastors go back. Um, go back to sacrifices for the sheep that God has placed over you. The church of God needs to repent because we are preaching a selfish gospel. We are preaching a demonic gospel. We are preaching a gospel that was never passed on to us. But we are preaching the doctrines of the demons. We are preaching doctrines of satanic powers. But there is no king, there is no deliverance with what we are preaching. Because the power of God, it comes from the womb of love. The spirit of God move from the place of love. How come we are preaching the gospel and there is no love in it? There is no Commission us in this season. Man to us, my God, to go back for love, to decide to love again. We have to be like Peter. Jesus is asking, thank you, Jessalyn. Jesus is asking the church, Jesus is asking the apostle, do you love me? Like he asked Peter, do you love me? He said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Many pastors are running around. They are not feeding the sheep of God. You give them dry grass and the sheep are dying. Go back to feeding the sheep. Be compassionate. Become a shepherd. Become a shepherd in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody better sign in and just write all over there. Love reviver. Love reviver. The church must go back to love. If we speak it with tongues like an angel, and we have no love, we still have nothing. If we have revival fire, and we have no love, we only become hellish. We put people in bondage because we become prideful. It's all because of us, because of our pride. We, we bound people. We throw javelins at the ones we're supposed to love and protect. 
them. God said, man of God, woman of God, love my sheep. Protect my sheep. Lead my sheep the right way. Stop shedding my sheep. Stop doing things that will send my sheep astray. Love reviver. Love reviver. Love reviver. Love reviver. Go back to love. We decree it all over the world. In America, they will burst forth a love reviver. In Africa, in Cameroon, in Asia, there will be love reviver. Do you believe it? It's coming your way. You who are watching me, you are going to be infected by this love reviver, by the power of God, by the glory of God. You will sleep one way. And you will wake up. You will wake up groaning. Crying out to God. Father teach me how to love you. Father teach me how to love your people. Teach me how to love my neighbors. Teach me how to love my children. Teach me how to love my family. Teach me how to love my church. Teach us how to love again oh God. Deliver us from the spirit of witchcraft. Deliver us from the spirit of hatred. And show us your love again. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We glorify you. We magnify you, God. We give you praise, oh God. Oh Jehovah Nisi. We magnify your holy name. We magnify you, God. There is no other God but Jehovah. We glorify you, God. Let there be a love reviver. Let my people know how to love. Let my church be a place of love. Let it be a fountain of love. The love of God. The love of God. We decree love all over the earth. And we push back darkness. We push back hatred. We say let love rule. Let love, love take control. All over Facebook. All over social media. Let this virus of love. May it capture every account. May it capture every person. May it capture every pastor. May it capture every apostle. May it capture every evangelist. May it capture the people of God. I proclaim. I decree. I confess. I decree. I release. I love revival. I love revival. I love revival. In your your heart in your home in your marriage let there be a love revival catch on fire with the love of God the love of God has been shed abroad upon your heart activate it walk in love move in love talk in love preach in love Holy Ghost fire love revival we break anything that came into the church and release some of strife. We arrest the spirit and we release the love of God. We say, let love overshadow anything Satan has released upon the church of God. We come in the name of Jesus and we stay, we stand by the authority of love, the, the love of God. And we say, love will prevail. Love will prevail. Go back to love and preach the love of God. Love your neighbors. Love your children. Love your husband. Love God. Love God. Love God. Obey God. Do his command. Heal souls. Set the, set the captive free. Oh, Shele Babaye. Oh, Makosula Abaye. Matili Kabarando come on right where you are in your home lift up your voice like a trumpet in Zion and begin to scream with me begin to roar with me let's join our faith together and let me say father we stand in agreement with your apostle with your woman of God and we decree a love revival I decree the apostles we hear the signal in their spirit and they will pick it up in Jesus name I decree the prophet 
I release my voice as a trumpet in Zion and even in people's sleep. They will hear my voice calling them to arise and pick up the mantle for love revival. Zurigi Bagadebo, Biri Kabaroboye, Zika, Masuri Bibi. Nobody will be able to escape. The love revival coming is coming like a tsunami. It's coming like a tsunami. God is calling his prophet. He said, decree love, preach love, proclaim love. Through my love, there will be restoration. Through my love, there will be deliverance. Through my love, there will be conquering. God is giving us power above, over the devil in this season. Love is going to win. Love is going to win. Love is going to reign. When they show you hate, you show them love. When they show you hate, you show them love. Because God is love. Let the world see Jesus through you. Let the world see Jesus through me. Let the world see Jesus through us. We decree love. Baptize us with your love power. Love revival all over the world. I decree it. I release it. Love we win. Love we conquer. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody proclaim it. We cast out all fear by the power of love. For there is no fear in love. Oh my God, my God. Let your leaders, oh God. Let your ministers, oh Lord, begin to lead by the spirit of love and not fear. We cast out the fear that has come upon the people of God by the power of God's love. For there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out all fear. Somebody say love revival. Oh, Shala Babaye. Oh, Sakara Babaye. Mosokora Babaye. Mosi Kalala Babaye. Musi Liba Babaye, baby. Somebody all over the comment. Just write love reviver. Just put love reviver and put love all over the place. Missy Kalababaye, Meso Koboye. Please, we want to make sure that love reviver goes viral because the world must go back to love. If you have not shared this on your timeline, you are not helping me to preach this gospel. If you want to help me, and you believe in this love reviver, please share it right now in groups. Share it right now in groups. Share it right now on your timeline. Share it and invite people. Invite your friends right now to watch this. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do I have agreement? Do I have agreement with you? Can you share this for me on your timeline? Some of you are in groups. Can you share it on the groups right now? So we can get people to join and pray with us. Is somebody out there with me? We proclaim your love, oh God. We are going back to love. We are going back to love. Everywhere, oh God, that we have failed to release your love. In my own life, in my own family, everywhere I have failed God by not showing love, we ask for forgiveness tonight. Father, oh God, forgive me. Forgive my friends online. Wives who are not loving their husbands, I pray that love will capture their heart and they will begin to see that man from the eyes of God, from the love of God. They will not pray curse over him. They will not pray doom over him. They will pray God save him. God, in the areas that I failed to love, Father God, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Areas that I failed to show compassion. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Right there where you're standing. I'm not the only one who needs this prayer. All of us need to repent. 
because we have failed in the area of love. We gossip so bad. We lie so bad. We accuse people so bad. We try to bring people down. The same people that Christ died for. The same ones that he shed his blood for. Oh, we try to bring down each other. That is not a love of God. I see men and women of God on, the, on Facebook. All of us bombarding each other. We even use the same scriptures that was given us unto salvation. We are using it to destroy one another. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, help us. Deliver us. Bring us back to you. Cause us to repent. Let your church repent. If we cannot even love one another, if we cannot even support one another, if I can pray for you and you cannot pray for me, how can we say we are praying for the world? We are nothing but liars. We are deceivers. We need to turn back to God and say, God, I repent. Some of you don't love your husband. The way you're supposed to love him. Some of you don't love your wife. You cheat on your wife. You beat on your wife. You gossip about your wife. That is not love. That is hatred. It's not of God. Some of us, we don't even love our children. We don't care for them. We don't pray for them. We don't stand in the gap for them. We don't cry out for their salvation. And we are preaching the gospel of God for the nation to be saved. But the ones that are to you are dying. They are perishing. Going to hell in a handbasket. Tell your children about God. Tell your children about Jesus. Tell your children about the Holy Ghost. Tell them about love. We need to go back to love. This world needs love. It's love that will draw people to God. The Bible says that God pulls us to him with his robe of love. With his robe of kindness. Hatred will not pull people to you. We not pull people to your church. We not pull people to your family. It is the love of God that attracts. The love of God will attract people to your ministry. Show love. We cry out. Let there be love revival. Revive us again, Lord. Revive us again, We speak love in our homes. Is somebody praying with me? I shall decree a thing. It shall be established unto me. As I decree and proclaim love. Love revival. Father, establish it. Let heaven back me up. Let heaven back me up. Let it rain down, love. Let there be a love revival. Let there be a love revival. In my life, in my home, we decree offense must go. Let offense go. We release offense. We decree. Oh, A love revival in our hearts. We glorify your name. We love your name, Jesus. We love your name, Jesus. We love your name. We glorify you. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We love you, Lord. 
We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We glorify your name. We glorify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. Teach us how to love again. We magnify your name. Oh, we magnify your name. You are the name above all names. We magnify you, Jesus. 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 I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. We worship you. We need you, Jesus. We glorify you. We glorify you. I see you releasing your love. All over Facebook. All over the social media. I magnify your name. That your name will rule. Your name will prevail, Lord. You are the name above all names. You are love, Lord. Hatred does not come from you. Teach us again. Break our hearts again, Lord. For the things that break your heart. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Come on, you out there, cry out to God. Some of you have been so hurt by people. You don't know how to love anymore. But today, God said, I heal you. I heal you with my love reviver. I heal you with my love reviver, my daughter, says the Lord. I heal your heart from every pain. Every entanglement that has come and polluted your heart. We glorify your name. Jesus, we glorify your name. Somebody hear me say, we magnify your name. We magnify. Oh, somebody help me sing. We magnify his name. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We glorify you. We glorify you. We sing your praises, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Your holy name. Your holy name. <clears throat> Come on. Ask God to show you love. Above all, love God. Love God. Love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, I command you to love one another. As I have loved you. Some of you need to go and just hug your children. Hug your church members. Hug your sister. Call somebody today and just tell them, I've been planning to tell you I love you. But I have not been able, I want to say to them I love you. You will heal their hearts. You will heal their rejection. Call your husband up and say, my husband, I love you. Call your wife up and say, my wife, I love you. Call your pastor and say, pastor, I love you. Call your prophet, your apostle, and say, I love you. I love you. Call your mother. Say, Mama, I love you. Call your father. Say, Daddy, I love you. Love conquers all. Love conquers all. Love conquer the grave. He will conquer any other thing in your life. I decree a love healing. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord, for reviving us with your love. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for pouring out your love. For pouring out your love. You are pouring out your love. You are giving us your love. We love you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. With my whole life, I say, Lord, use me. Use me, Lord. I don't want to be the same, Lord. I magnify you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I give you praise. Thank you, for Lord. Revive my Lord. We proclaim your name. We proclaim that Jesus, you are Lord. You are Lord, Jesus. You are Lord, Jesus. I'm here to magnify you, Lord. I'm here to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are baptizing us with love. Your love revival will penetrate the world. The White House, Lord, we know your love. The ATS, we know your love. The backsliders, we know your love. A love encounter. I pray a love encounter of Jesus. In prisons, I pray. I pray an encounter of your love. In prisons, Lord, let them know you. Let your love, Lord, come in prison. Oh, God, that those who are in prison, as they read your word, Lord, as somebody comes by and preach to them about you, let your love capture their hearts. Let your love capture their hearts, Lord. Let your love rule in prison. In prison, Lord, let your love rule. We cry out to you, Lord, for our children to know you, to know your love, God. To know you, Lord. Let me know you, God. Let me do better, Lord. Let me sacrifice in your love. Let me go an extra mile. And I pray thee, that hatred will never overtake my heart, God. May your love, God, we captured me. Let your love capture me, God. I ask for this one thing, Lord, that I will never, God, go away from your love. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We cry out today, God. And you will bring us back to you, God. The place that we as your church love you back, Jesslyn. The place that we have failed as a church to show your love to the world. Lord, we cry out to the God that we pick up this mantle of love. I release the mantle of love all over the world in Jesus' name. Let this mantle fall in churches, God. Let it fall upon your people, God. Let it fall upon your people, God. A mantle of love. I decree a mantle of love. I release a mantle of love. I decree a mantle of love to fall upon the church again. Upon your pastors, God. That we pick up this mantle and begin to lead in love. In love. A love revival. A love revival, I proclaim it. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Lord, I cry out to you. As you birth this out through me, God. Now, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeshua, the Liga Baye, the Leziki, Tayata, Yate, Taye. Oh, yo, 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 yes, it is a baba, yes, and I, yeah, yeah. I pray my children will pick the mantle of love. I pray my spiritual children will pick the mantle of love. We are be a people of your love, God. You will raise a people for your love, God. For your honor and your glory, there will be love revival, God. Oh, yeah, yeba, yes, alaba, yeah. For your glory, Lord, there will be a love revival. Oh, we magnify your name. I cry out to you, Lord. Oh, we magnify your name. Oh, rest of carriers. 
grace of vessels who will pick up this mandate they will pick up this mantle and begin to decree your love begin to walk in your love we love your name we love your name we love your name we magnify your name God bless you Tess we glorify you Lord we magnify you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Only you alone are worthy, Lord. Jehovah, we pray thee. Take away any stony part of our heart. Give us a heart of blood and flesh. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. Make us to be a carrier of your love. In your glory, there is love. Let us not have the glory without your love. Let us not have the fire without your love. And my generation know you. Let my generation know you. Let the generation to come know you, Lord. Baptize us with your spirit once again. With the essence of you, God, which is love. Which is love, God. Which is love, God. Which is love. Is love. Oh, God. through your love I see a rain of love coming I see it coming I see love coming like a tsunami and the father's heart is pleased the heart of the father is pleased he will be pleased by the love revival the father's heart is pleased. I see Jesus rejoicing. <laughs> I see Jesus. I see Jesus. I see Jesus. I see Jesus. Holy Spirit. Go with me. Go with us. Into this love revival. I see the father's heart is pleased. With the Lord revival. I see the Father's heart is pleased with the love revival. God is drawing his people back in the place of intimacy. In the place of intimacy. He says, my daughters will seek my heart again. My sons will seek my heart. Seek my heart, says the Lord. Seek my will, says the Lord. Seek me again. In your secret place, in your secret closet. The Lord says, sing my heart again, church. Return to me, return to me. Says the Spirit of the Lord, return to me, return to my heart. I'm pulling you into a place of a love affair. A love affair where I bless my bride again and I wash my bride again. With my love, I'm calling you to the place of intimacy. Sing my face, sing my face, sing my face. Sing my face, says the Spirit of the Lord. Sing me. Return to me. Return to me, says the Spirit of the Lord. Return to me, says God. Love again. The Lord is calling his bride. The Lord is calling his bride. To a place of intimacy. The love of God. He wants to pour. I'm looking for verses to pour my love. To pour my heart. Forgive for the another. And return to me. Return says the Lord. Into my holy place of intimacy. The veil has been torn. Says the Lord, come in, come in, come in, come in.
Come in, the spirit cries out. The spirit is crying out. Come in. He's calling his bride to come in. I see the Lord. The spirit is calling the church to come in, enter in, in the place of intimacy. In the place of intimacy. I call my church back, says the Lord. I call my church back. In the place of intimacy, I call you, my bride. Come in, seek my face. And I will direct you. I will show you the way how to love my people, says the Lord. I will fill you with my heart of love and compassion. Sing my face. Sing my face. Be broken in front of me, says the Lord. I want to fill your heart with my love and compassion. I want to make you a carrier of my love. Baptize you with my spirit of love and my fire. When you carry my fire, you carry my love. My fire is pure, says the Lord. Says the Spirit of the Lord, come in. Enter in, enter in. Enter in. Enter in, says the Lord. There is a gate for you to enter in. Enter in, enter in. The Lord is calling you in a place of intimacy. He says, so many warriors, they have put down their sword. And the sword I give you originally was my love. And you are warfaring with the wrong weapons. But today you must speak the love mandate. You must speak the weapon of love. Oh, through my love, you will overcome many. Through my love, you will be what I created you to be, says the Lord. I gave you a weapon of love to overcome with my love. Overcome evil with my good. And pray. 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 Say the Lord. Sing my face. I'm bringing a love revival. My love. Say the Lord. Is what I give to you. Is what I give to you. Seek my face. Seek my face. The Lord says, Seek my face. Seek my face. I see so many prayer warriors. They have been broken. Because they let go of love. And the enemy came and brought you into a place of warfare. Where you warfare without my love. Without my love. But I'm healing you. And you will pick back a mantle of love. You will warfare from a place of love. And you will break the band of wickedness. I see prayer warriors. I see a gathering of prayer warriors. With their sword in their hand. But yet they all bow down before the king of glory. They all bow down. Because we need a fresh touch from him. So many prayer warriors are weary and weak. Because a lot along the way they've lost their first love. You've been warfaring for too long, for too long, for too long. And you've dwelt far away from your first love. But God is saying to the prayer warriors, come in. Come in. In my secret place where I refresh you. Where I replenish you with my love. I want to love on you. You will feel my love. And you will be replenished. You will be strengthened by my love. By my love coming, entering. Lay down your sword and come in. Drink from me, says the Lord. Refresh. Refresh men in my presence, says the Lord. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. 
The Lord is calling the prayer warriors to come in. Come into the presence of the Lord. Come in His presence and be refreshed. God wants to recharge you, prayer warrior. God wants to recharge you, prayer warrior. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Enter in. The Spirit is calling you. Come in. Run to the Lord and bow down to your King. Come in, says the Lord. Come in, says the Spirit of the Lord. There's a refreshment for you. There is refreshment for you in His presence. I see a gathering of prayer warriors. They are not there to warfare, but they are there to be refreshed. I see it. I see a gathering. All of them are warriors. They are not there to warfare, but I see a unique gathering coming of prayer warriors. They are not there to warfare. They are there to bow down to the king to be refreshed. I see a refreshing coming your way. I see a refreshing coming your way. Yes, bring refreshment, God. And recharge us, oh God. Recharge your prayer warriors, oh God. I see a refreshment coming your way. I love revival. How many of you believe it? How many of you believe that something is about to change? I see a gathering of prayer warriors. They are not there to warfare. They gathered in numbers. I see it. And they are there for one purpose. To bow down in front of the king. To be refreshed by him. I proclaim this move of God. I push it forth. I push it forth. I see a love revival coming. I see it coming. I see it coming. I see it coming. Hey! Jesus! 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 Release it, Lord. In America, Lord, release. 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 I pray the Lord. Let no one be able to escape. I see hearts being changed. Let there be a supernatural transformation, God. Transfer of hearts, oh God. Take away the stony heart and bring in the heart of flesh and blood. Let hearts that have got called begin to beat again. With your love fire. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. All over this nation we glorify you Lord. Father I magnify your name. Let your name be above our names. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, give us your heart again. Break our hearts with the things that break your heart. Eh? Hey! We glorify you, Daddy, Jesus. Jesus. Release carriers of your glory. Release carriers of your love, God. I release a love mandate over the nations, oh God. That this mandate will fall upon churches like fire. Like fresh fire. Eh? Let your name reign. Let your name be famous, O oh God, amongst your people once more. 
with this revival of love. We pray that drug addicts will come to you. That drug addicts will turn to you because of your love. Put your love in the hearts of your people. So that when we preach the gospel, the world will feel your love. And their hearts will melt in your presence, Lord. We glorify you. 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 Let my life be changed by your love reviver. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We lift up your name. We glorify you. All over Facebook. Help me to love on him. We love your name, Jesus. We love your name, Jesus. There is no other name but your name. We love your name. Parents, go and love on your children. Tell your children I love you. Tell your wife I love you. Tell your pastor, your friends, your family. Don't say they know I feel it. Tell them. Healing will come in your family through love. Love will heal your family. It must start from you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Jesus is telling me. Love will heal the nations. Love will heal the nations. Love will heal the nations. God is sent this, this love reviver. Because the nations need healing. And the only thing that is going to heal in this season is love. When you begin to tell your family members, your children, I love you. Your wife, your husband, I love you. Your pastors, your friends, I love you. Something will change. Love will capture your heart. Because God says I will heal the nation by my love. It was through love for God to love the world. That he saved the world for anyone who will believe. So if we carry that same love, we will save a lot of people. We will heal a lot of people. A lot of people will be transformed because the love of God is here. The love of God is here. Tell your church members, stand on the pulpit and say, I love you. Tell your church, I love you. They might have hurt you. Some might have betrayed you, but confuse the enemy with love. Hug those who don't expect you to hug them. Oh God. Call them, say, you know what? I forgive you and I love you. You will cause them to repent. You will heal that relationship because you dare to say, I love you. Tell your partner, I love you. Some of you out there, your husband has cheated on you. And he's dying because of what he did to you. Because he has betrayed you, he is suffering in pain. Because he has lost your love. But go back today. And say, so you know what, my husband? I'm not going to let the devil take control. I'm not going to let Satan win. We are in this together. I love you, my husband. Let love prevail in, in us. Some of you need to go back to that person. And so you hurt me. You betrayed me. You rejected me. But my sister, I love you. My brother, I love you. Come on, somebody catch the heart of God today. God is giving us a mighty key. That we turn a lot of things around. If your enemy is hungry, feed them. Feed them, says the Lord. Feed them. If they call you, pick the phone. Feed them with the word of God. Encourage them. Encourage them to come back to Jesus. Some of your church members betray you. And since they betray you, they dwell away from God. Call them and tell them God loves them. 
Jesus still loves them. They must come back home. Love we heal. Love we heal. Love we heal. Love we heal. Preach the love of God. Hold that child. Hold that stubborn child. And tell that child, I love you. I love you. Some of you, you have a child. It's a teenage father or a teenage mother. And you are despising them because of their action. They feel so rejected by you. Call them and tell them I love you. Call them. Call them. And tell them I love you. Tell them I love you. Please help me to share this. If you have not clicked the share button. I beg on you. The world needs this word. They need this love revival. Apostles need it. Pastors need it. Help me share on your timeline. Help me invite your friends. Help me tell somebody about love revival. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. God is setting some of you free right there. Someone has hurt you so bad. And you feel like you cannot let away the pain. But right where you stand, right there. I sense a healing anointing upon you. I sense a healing glory upon you. You are being healed. You are being healed. Receive the healing. We soak ourselves in the healing glory of God. And we proclaim that we will be carriers of his love. Satan will not take over our hearts. Go back to being compassionate. Right there, touch your heart and say, God, right here, heal me. Enlarge my heart. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 1 says, Above all, pursue love. Pursue love. Run after love. Seek love. Search out love. Everything. We have not come to the place to even comprehend. The magnitude. The length. The height. And the depth. Of the love of God. 1 Corinthians 14. 1 says. Pursue love. Pursue. Pursue love. They are hating on you. Let them hate. But you pursue love. Pursue love. Jesus is love. God is love. The Holy Spirit is all about love. His peace comes from the spirit of love. Right where you are. I want you to begin to receive your healing. Some of you, they betrayed you so bad. So bad. But you let it go. Let it go and pursue love. Let it go and pursue love. Let it go and pursue love. love. There are men that have hurt you. There are men that have betrayed you. They left you to die. And you felt so hurt, so wounded and rejected. And it left a resentment in your, in your heart. It left the spirit of offense in your heart. But God said, with my love, I'm healing you right now. I speak love revival over you. And you will love your next partner. Yes. Satan will not steal the spirit of love away from you. Because Romans 5 and 5 says... God has shed abroad his love by the Holy Spirit in our hearts, upon our hearts. So you have the love of God already in your heart. Your heart was created for love. Don't let Satan rob it away from you. Decree right now, say, I will live 
with the spirit of love. I, I, I decree, I will walk in love. Some of you ministers of God, your own minister friends have betrayed you. They've hurt you so bad. Some stole your vision. You told them about your vision. They went and head and began to run with it. And it left some kind of a stench on your heart. God is blotting that out. They are not worth the space of God in your heart. They are not worth the love of God in your heart. You call love back in your heart. You walk in love. If they want to walk in hatred, don't be a partaker of that. If they want to walk in strife, don't curse them. Just leave them. You walk in love. You walk in love. I come to speak love revival over you and the whole world. You are carrying this mandate right now. You are carrying this mantle right now. You will be one of those who run with this love revival. Because God himself, as I speak, the spirit of God will minister to you in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord. Come on. The name above all names. The name above all names. Let him, his name reign in your life today. Let his name rule in your life today. We magnify his name. You walk in love. And see how God will turn your life around. You want to be the true embodiment of the love of God. The carrier of his love. So many times we cry for his glory. But I've come to believe that his love is his glory. Because if I walk in love, I walk with him. I walk with him. How many of you say, we're going to push forward this love revival. We are going to walk in love. Even on social media. On Facebook. We are not going to be part of the hate generation. Part of the hate people on Facebook. But we are going to wipe out hate with love. When everybody is writing hate, bitterness, strife, pride, everything. There is no pride in love. The Bible says love is not boastful. Love is not arrogant. Love does not seek after its own. Love is not selfish. Love is giving and generous. The true love of God. If people, pastors, apostles and prophets and Christians want to be fighting each other on Facebook, Let's decide not to be part of them. Don't join them. Don't take sides. Don't take sides. Be on the Lord's side. Be on the side of the Lord. You choose God. You choose love. You choose to walk in love. In your church, if they are acting in hate, out of character, out of God's character, you say no. I'm not going to be part of the people in my church who are walking in hatred, in jealousy, in gossiping, in, pro, in, in, in speaking doom over other people. I'm going to walk in love. Walk away from such people. You be an example of God's love. Let them follow you. Be a trailblazer of love. That's it, baby Edith. Love reviver. If you have not shared this on your timeline, please share it right now. Share it right now. Share it in groups. Let there be love revival all over Facebook. Let them begin to come to the fire. Then we proclaim also verbally that there will be love revival all over the world in Jesus' name. And we are not backing down. We pray for the wind of God to release this all over the world. I prophesy the four winds of the Lord. That there will be a love revival on the four corners of the earth. 
I decree a love revival in Jesus' name. You better get ready. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Get ready in your church, in your home. It's coming. It's coming. Proclaim it. Decree it. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. Love revival is coming. And Satan will not be able to stop it. Because it pleases God. I see the Father's heart. I feel it so strongly. This is one movement. That is going to shake the world. It's going to... North Korea is going to be hit by no, love revival. I just received that. North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. I proclaim it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to reveal. It's going to receive a love revival to be like a tsunami in North Korea. We proclaim love revival over North Korea. Somebody write it down there for me. We decree and proclaim a love revival over North Korea. I just received that in my spirit. North Korea, get ready. Jesus is arising in that nation. Love is arising in that nation. It will overtake them. The president, whoever is leading, the leaders, the government of North Korea is going to be consumed by the love of God and they will begin to decree things according to the will of God. North Korea, can somebody write down for me? Love Reviver in North Korea. Can you write that down for me, please? Shaka ta ta ta. Shaka ta 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 ta. We proclaim it. A love revival over North Korea. We superimpose it. I shall decree a thing. It shall be established unto me. I decree a love revival in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Zobabaye. Jesus. Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. North Korea. Somebody write it down. North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. A love revival. Over North Korea. Come on, write it down. Let's superimpose it. Because when we write it down, we give it more power. The Bible says, write down the vision and make it plain. We are making it plain. And we shall see it come to pass. There will be a love revival in North Korea. In the name of Jesus. I proclaim all my spiritual children. All my natural children, all my alignments, we walk in the power of the love of God. This love revival will capture all of them. None of them will be able to escape in Jesus' name. And the zeal of the Lord shall perform this. In the name of Jesus. They will carry this mantle. They will carry this fire. And they will run with it in Jesus' name. Love revival in Holland. Love revival in Rotterdam. Love revival in Amsterdam. We decree a love revival. In the mighty name of Jesus, we fire. It will come with fire. It will burn in our bones like fire. Zokaba de Shere Bakaya. Joda Kabe Sele Bakaya. Joda Kabe Yeko Sokabaya. Jode ke sa koko boko shaya. Zoka ya basante. Joka la baka sa ya bayaba. Joka la baka suka la baya. Joke le basante ko shekeke. Zoka la ya basante. Zoka la baya sante. 
Come on, proclaim it. Come on, decree it. Come on, declare it. The zeal of the Lord will perform it. Do you believe it? Proclaim it. Love revival all over North Korea in Jesus' name. Do you believe love revival in your family? Proclaim it over your family. Those family members who are fighting, the love of God, we, are, uh, we arrest them. And there will be a restoration in your family. By the love of God, by the spirit of God, by the power of God, no more strife in your family. Zoka Bahande. Zota ta 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 ta. Boko shalala la baba baba. Boshe kababa. Come on, write it down. Love revival in my family. Proclaim it. Proclaim it. Write it down. Love revival in my family. And as you are writing it down, let it be coming out of your mouth. Write it down. Proclaim it. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Come on. Zatatatata. Oh, zakalatatatata. Zokakakatatata. Moshe kalabababababa. Write it down. Come on, write it down. Love revival in my family. Zokalabaya sikalabaya. Come on, write it down. Somebody write it down for yourself. That the devil will know you have established it in writing. Come on, proclaim it. Be a career of love revival. Come on, write it all over Facebook. Write it down. So the devil will know you are serious. We magnify you, Jesus. As you decree, so shall it be. We love your name. We love your name. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We magnify you. We magnify you. Oh, shake la la ba 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 We glorify you. Come on, proclaim it. Love revival in my family. Oh, sakayaba. Come on, proclaim. Yes, love revival in my family. I break every spirit of hate by the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree hate must go. Hate must leave my family. Hatred must leave my children. They will walk in love and talk in love and deal in love. A love revival in my family. Yes, So can I have a satire. So can I have a satire. Come on, proclaim it. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Oh God, we glorify you. We magnify your name. Love reviver. We bless you. Adonai, we bless you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Glorify you, Lord. How many of you are being blessed? Come on, decree love revival in the body of Christ. Yes. I want you to take this next three minutes. Where do you want love revival to hit? Just decree there. Just write it down. Sister Fatima said love revival over the body of Christ. Where do you want to decree? Come on, write it down. Write it down. So we can, we can establish it together. Let's establish it in writing together. Where do you want love revival to hit? Where? Write it and proclaim it there. So the devil will know we are serious. We are taking territory with love revival in Jesus' name. Oh, Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. We magnify you. 
We magnify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. Oh yes, Lord. We glorify your name. Oh yes, Lord. Glorify your name. Shoka ta 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 ta. Love revival over my family and myself. Yes. Love revival in my life, yes. Love revival in Holland and Nigeria, yes. Love revival in Cameroon. I proclaim it, yes. Love revival over Houston, Texas, Bremo, Texas, Los King, Texas, South Carolina, yes. In Jesus' name, we stand in agreement. Come on, let's proclaim it and stand in agreement. Love revival over my family. Yes, I agree with you. We superimpose. Yes, come on, everybody. I stand in agreement. Let's agree together. Love revival in Jesus' name. Yes, we proclaim together. Yes, in Jesus' name. Love revival. Yes, come on. Come on, intercessors. Come on, prayer warriors. Come on, fire starters. Come on, children of God. Proclaim it. Where else do you want to see love revival? Come on, write it down. Let's stand in agreement. Let's agree together. Masaka ta 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 ta. Mozo go shana ba 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 ba. Bosi kara to 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 koroshe kere. Boko sakara ta 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 ta. Love revival over our household. Yes, we agree in Jesus' name. Come on, release it, release it. I believe there are prophetic people on the line. Come on, release it. Love revival over my household. Yes, in Jesus' name. Love revival over my friends and family. Yes, love revival over my family and my brothers and sisters in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we agree. We agree. We stand in agreement. We stand in agreement. Come on, come on, agree with each other. We love you, Jesus. Come on, agree. What else? Love revival in my family and my brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, amen, we agree. Love revival. I'm writing it down. I want to write it down also. In my country. Yes, love revival over my family and friends in Jesus Christ's name. Yes, love revival. Yes, we agree, we stand in agreement. So, love revival in Cameroon. That's my country. Love revival in the body of Christ and all over the world. Yes, Prophet Sally. Yes, in Jesus' name, we superimpose it. Love revival over my brother. Love revival over my brothers and sisters. Yes. We stand in agreement. We come in agreement. Yes. What about China? I hear China. Shaka ta 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 ta. Shaka ta 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 ta. Love revival over China in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My God. My God. My God. Something is happening. Love reviver, yes. Yes, Edith, love reviver. Masha Kataya. Yes, Lord. I'm going to read a scripture. And then we can close. I'm going to read where God really wants us to focus on. As we continue with the love revival. How many of you have been blessed? I've been blessed. That's I'm liking it myself. Amen. Um, love revival over China in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, I agree. Deliverance, Jeffrey, Jonathan, Diego, Ludem. Father God, we just come in agreement for the deliverance of Jeffrey, Jonathan, and Diego, Ludes. Lord, we pray that you will heal them, you will deliver them, you will meet them in the place of their suffering with your love. We release that, we proclaim it over them in the name of Jesus. We stand in agreement for the deliverance of, of Savior and Jonathan in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Come on, somebody, you need to agree with that sister. Somebody just asked for deliverance for somebody. Are you guys agreeing? Show love to her by telling her we're standing in agreement. That's how you work together as a Christian family. When love comes, we turn back in being a family. We support one another. We love one another. We pray for one another. Love revival all over Aruba and St. Martin. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Oh, love revival over, over all the commandments by Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 in the name of Jesus. We will be one in Jesus' name. We decree unity over the body of Christ in Jesus' name. Okay. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 1 says, If I could speak, I'm reading from my laptop here, okay? Verse 1 and 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 says, If I could speak all the languages of the earth, and of angels, but didn't love others, I will only be a noisy gong or a clanking cymbal. If I had gifts of prophecy and I understand and I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that could move mountains, but did not have but did not love others. I will be nothing. Amen. Amen. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I will gain nothing. I have gained nothing. So God is telling us, some of us can prophesy, speak in tongues, evangelize, and we are doing so many programs, conferences, but if we are doing all of that, if you are even feeding the poor, but there is no love in you, you have done nothing. God doesn't honor you. Your gift has no use to God. You are just like an empty air. You gain nothing. So prophets who go around prophesying, apostles doing all the things they are doing, evangelists, if you don't have love in your heart and you are just doing out of, it's my gift and you don't have love, and it's not coming from a heart of love. You are wasting your time. If we are preaching the gospel of Christ. And there is no love in us. We are wasting our time. Turn go back to love. And start by loving God with all your heart. Jesus said if you love me obey my commandments. If you are not obedient to God. You are not walking in love. You are walking far away in love. There is no love in you. You don't love God. It's simple as that. Love is a fruit of obedience to God. Amen? Because he says, your love for me will result to you doing the things I asked you to do. So if you are saying, I love God so much, and God said, go left, you are going right. Go front, you are going backwards. You are not loving God. That's not love. When God said, give your last money to the poor and you obey, that's love to God. Doing the will of God is love to God. There are a lot of men and women running around. They are doing great things. They are not doing great things unto God. They are fulfilling their own agenda. And God doesn't consider their work. That's why on the last day he will say, go away from me. You workers of iniquity, I do not know you. Everybody wants a title and big platform. But sometimes it starts by humbling ourselves and taking care of that one person next to us. Jesus cares for the Samaritan woman. Most of us are neglecting and rejecting our Samaritan woman because we are running around looking for crowds so we can boast that we have population. That's not love. Love is caring for the, caring for the needy. Praying for somebody who cannot pray for themselves. And then he goes to say, love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Some people are so rude, it's scary. There's no love in that. Amen. Let your words be seasoned with salt. All of us need to repent. Because sometimes we can just say things. 
and we kill the people we want to help by the things we say and how we say it. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you will first ask yourself, when I send this thing to this person, will I want them to send it to me the way I'm sending it to them? Of course, there are times you must be honest, and honesty we, we hurt the one receiving it. That's not what I'm talking about. But you must first check your heart. If your if your reason of responding to a person's message is out of love to correct them. Amen. Don't do it out of anger and bitterness and offense and this and that. That's not love. Amen. And then I'm going to drop down to chapter 13. Verse 13, it says. Three things will last forever. Three things are going to last forever. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of all these is love. Some of you keep praying, God give me hope, give me faith, give me this. But when was the last time we prayed, God give me love? Because the greatest of all is love. If we have the gospel, we have big churches, every... Some prophets will go to hell, I'm telling you. For the souls of God, they're bound in hell. By their money seeking self, they are wolves. Tormenting the same souls that God wants them to reach out and save for free. Putting 300 euros or pounds or dollars for a conference. How can the poor come to that conference? Preach the gospel to the poor. How can the poor? Pay $5,000 or $500 to attend your service, your conference. You are a thief. A lot of prophets, I will say this, if you don't repent, you're going to hell. For all the souls you are killing and preaching the doctrine of the devil to death, you need to repent. How can the Bible say the spirit of the Lord is upon me? To preach the gospel, he has anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. The anointing is to preach the gospel to the poor. And you are going to the, to the poor. And you put on your conference. To come in. You put $500. $200. $50. How can the poor come to your conference? You are shutting out the same people. You were called to reach out for God. The same people. Thank you, Evangelist Sonia, for covering me with the blood. The same people. You fake prophets were called to reach out. You are acting as if you bought that gift somewhere. Freely you receive, freely you give. To counsel a child, your own person you say you are mentoring, your own spiritual son and daughter. They have to pay you first before you give them a word. You are a thief, a liar, and the truth is not in you. A lot of prophets will go to hell. I'm saying it. Tell them I say so. Because God is against their work. God is against your work. I've seen people for $500 and arrows to come and receive the word of God. Talking about I'm a, I'm a master prophet. You are a wolf in sheep clothing. And there is no love in you. God is going to eradicate a lot of these phony people. Calling themselves people of God. And you young disciples of God online. Do not take the same path. Don't take the same path. Don't take the same path. Don't keep your eyes on the money. Keep your eyes on God. Keep your eyes on the agenda of God. The purpose of God for your life. God will provide all of your needs. Keep your anointing pure. Keep your anointing pure. Don't follow all these fake prophets. That's not the way God taught us. When was the last time we saw in the Bible, Jesus putting money before he could heal anybody? So who are they following? Not Jesus. They're not following Jesus. They are following their own demons that they have bowed down to. Prophets need to repent. Some apostles as well. Everything they put a price tag on it. They can't have even any training session. To just let people come and receive. The people can soar into it after you've given them the word. But when you put the money, you block the door. You block the door. To the same people who need the word, you block the door. 
You shut the door with your greedy self. God will replace a lot of these demonic prophets with genuine ones. Genuine ones who have the heart of God. Good ones. Shouting glory, glory, glory. There is no glory in your message because you are a thief. God has abandoned you a long time ago. A lot of these people you are preaching there, but God has left you. You are like Saul. Your kingdom has been taken away from you. You don't even know it. If any of these false prophets stumble upon this video, the word of the Lord for you is repent. 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 From your wolf stealing self. Blocking the gate. For many to come. For, for not many not to come in. Jesus said you yourself you will not enter in. You yourself you will not enter in. You are selfish. Love is not selfish. You want to feed the sheep. They have to pay first. Selfish. That's not the gospel of Christ. Where did we see Peter and a lot of you following mad people, crazy people? Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. A lot of men of God have sold out to the devil. They are not following Christ. So why are you following them? Why are you following people who are not following Christ? They are contaminating you and leading you to the pit of hell. Cut off from them. I don't care if they are apostle, prophet, bishop, and bishop. If you see their ways are not in alignment with the gospel of Jesus Christ. If they are not following Christ as their example, don't follow them anymore. Don't like their posts. Don't reshare their posts. Don't comment. Don't watch them. Cut off. Cut off. Don't go to their conference. Don't be religious about it. Be in the spirit and have discernment. When you see a woman of God who started well, has gone away from God, you go away from her. Because when they stop following Christ, that's your, that's, that's your cue. That's your cue to leave there. If they stop preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's the right time to leave there. Don't follow them because you've been following them for 20 years. So now you continue. For what? Who says so? Salvation is personal. You must fight for your life. Don't follow wolves in sheep clothing anymore. Cut off from them. Delete some of them from your Facebook. Block them. Don't go to any conference in this season. Follow season women and men of God who are carrying the true fire of God. There is a lot of strange fire going on. Strange fire. People preaching the doctrine of the, the, the devil. And you are there saying powerful. What is powerful? It's a lot of noise. It carries no power. That's why a lot of people go to conferences. And there is no signs. No miracles. And no wonder. Because God has even rejected a lot of those vessels. That you are dying behind. Sowing seed here. It's okay to sow. And you need to sow. You need to give unto God. But don't let nobody manipulate you. Offering one, offering two, offering three, offering four, offering five. And they say, if you don't give, you are going to hell. It's not true. It's not true. That's intimidation and manipulation. Don't buy it. Sow freely in the house of God. And yes, you need to sow. I am not against sowing. I'm not against tithing. I'm not against you giving to God. No, we all have to give to God. Support the work of God. But I'm talking about wolves who are manipulating your emotions. Saying, I, God told me there are 20 people here to give 100 pounds. And then when there is nobody coming out with 100 pounds, they say, okay, where are the 10 people? God, God is not schizophrenic. God does not change him, his mind a la minute. One minute there is 20 people, all of a sudden, you can't even get 5 people. You say, okay, we'll do 5 people. Okay, you don't have 100 pounds, we'll do 50 pounds. How can God be changing his mind like that? If God really spoke to a prophet to take 20 arrows from 10 people, there will be, 20, there will be 10 people, and the 10 people, we have the 20 arrows, because God sees everything, he knows everything. 
God does not do guesswork. Some of you need to really come out of this bewitchment. God does not do guesswork like, I don't know, it could be a t t t t it sounds like T, is there a T in your life? Come on! Wake up, people of God! And you two are jumping. Yes, my uncle is T. Start with letter T. He, if you have a whole family, there will be somebody with a T there. There will be somebody with a letter T. Stop letting people to put witchcraft over you and confuse you. If God wants to say Paul, he will call you Paul. He will not be confused like, I see a P. It sounds like a P. It looks like a P. Is it a P or a B? Let us know. You are the prophet. You are the prophet. And you people buy into these things. It's so far away from the heart of God. It's so far away from the heart of God. There is no God in it. There is no God in it. The heart of God is the heart of love. For God so loved the world. So we must go back to that place of the Father's heart of love. Even as we preach the gospel. We must preach from the heart of love. We must lead people from the heart of love. We must give from the heart of love. Oh, may love come back to the world. To the body of Christ. To the church. God is calling his body back. To receive his love and give it. Because you know we cannot give what we have lost. Apostles fighting on Facebook with each other. And they are called to bring order. How can that be? And we are preaching revival fire all over the world. All of us. But yet we persecute each other. We already have the devil for that, you know. We don't need each other to persecute each other. Satan is already at rest up for that. Love ye one another for I have loved you. As I have loved you, love one another. That the world will know you are my disciples. The world will know you are my disciples. Why are we killing each other's ministry? Killing the sheep. There are pastors persecuting their sheep. Why? Oh, may God give us a love revival. Because the heart of the church is so far from God. Preaching message, there is no love in it. She doesn't even expect anybody to be changed by the gospel. So why are we preaching it? The Lord is against these prophets. Who put such an amount of money? $500 for a conference. How can the poor come? When you are called to preach the gospel to the poor, how can the poor come into a conference where you are asking 500 pounds? You shut the door to the very people. Oh God, this hurt me so bad. I just want to sit in a corner and cry. When I see those who need the love of God more than anybody, I shut out because of greedy wolves. Greedy wolves. May God deliver us from evil. May God help us. May God deliver his church from this evil. There is so much stain upon the bride of Christ. Because we have sold out the spirit of greed. Spirit of greed. We are prostituting the gifts of God. And we are not helping nobody. Hope, faith and love. Above the three things, love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. We are complicating things. But the love of God is so easy. It's so simple. It's not complicated. And what you have to understand, the Holy Spirit has shared it. In our hearts. So you have it. Just activate. Ask God to revive it. Wherever that love is hidden in you. Like the prophecies that, the, that Paul said. Timothy should activate. Work it. It is a sin to say God. That love that you gave me. From my mother's womb. I want it back. 
I want it back. Hey! I want it back. I want it back. I don't want to walk in power of God without the love of God. Those who walk in the power of God without the love of God, they become agents of Satan to put the people in bondage. To put the people in bondage. I was watching a video, a so called prophet. Ask somebody to sow a seed. The person said, Did you have the seed or whatever? They were arguing back and forth. The prophet said to the person, If the person didn't give the money, a curse is coming upon him and his family. Like, seriously? In front of congregation. And the pastor was sitting there watching. Nobody can come in my ministry. In my church and place a, a curse upon the sheep of God that are under me. I will stand up as a pastor in my house. I say, no, we don't do that here. Because a shepherd ought to protect the sheep. Not defend your, your, your colleague. That's not love. You are called for the sheep, not for your friends. Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. But we are leaving demons to come in and feed the sheep. And careless pastors, they are on the phone. Why a man of God is preaching in their church on their pulpit? Carelessness. Carelessness. Some are outside talking, chatting, doing things. Why you have a guest speaker on your pulpit? Who is watching over the world in your church coming to your flock? Who is watching? That your people are not being bewitched. We need to go back that we care enough. Have enough compassion for what God has given us. I love you all. It's been awesome. Please help me share this. And you, I want to see the fruit of all of you online. The fruit of love. Even in your message on Facebook. Let it be with the heart of God in it that people will see. You are the carrier of love. Amen. I've done what God placed upon my heart. And like I proclaimed before, I see movements coming with love revival. How many of you believe it? I see movements all over the world. I see North Korea rising up with the word of God and the love of God. Love you too, Sister Fatima. Love you, Edith. Love you, Prophet Sally. Love you, Sister Gifty. I can't see everybody. Amen. Love you, Tess Gates. Bless you. We glorify him. We came online and we did it. We burst it out online. Amen. We glorify Sister Latanya. God bless you. Keep me in prayer, okay? Pray for me, please. Cover me in prayer. We magnify. Come on. Sing it. We magnify your name. this song can you see the father's face just being pleased about love revival can you see his face it's like I just see smiles all over his face Jesus is pleased I'm telling you I feel him so strong I really love him Can you, can, you, can you imagine when this love revival really hits? It's already hitting. Can you see the Father? We're doing the Father's will. It's all about this, about love, unity. It's all about this. Can you see it happening? Do you see what I see? 
Can you see with me? Oh, may God open your eyes to see the Lord revival coming. And may you not miss it. May you be a partaker of it. Because you heard it first. You heard it first. You run with it. Carry it with you. Carry it with you. Run with it. Run with it. I charge you. I charge you online to run with love revival. It's not my thing. It's a God thing. It's a God thing. Be bold to speak about love revival. Be bold to speak about the love of the Father. Be bold to say now we are going for love in this season. Be bold in your pursuit for love. First Corinthians 14 first, verse 1 says, Above all, pursue love. Pursue love. Run in your, in, your, in your quiet time with the Lord. Cry. Cry, say, God, give me this love. Let me not miss this love reviver. I join my faith with Apostle Claire Reveal and I ask for this God, give it to me. When you ask God, God will give it to you. He will give it to you. Do you believe it? You who are my spiritual children, do not dare miss this. Do not dare miss this. Don't miss it. I'm speaking into your spirit. Run with it. I charge you. I charge you. I dare you. I charge you. Run with it. Run with it. Don't be like, oh, it belongs to Apostle Claire. No, no, no. I am the one who was sent to proclaim, to release the word. But anybody can run with this movement. Anybody can run with it. You can carry it in your church. Wherever you are, you can carry it in your home. You don't have to have a ministry to carry love revival. In your family, in your neighborhood. You can become pregnant tonight. Pregnant with love revival. Pregnant with love revival. You must go closer to God. You must go deeper to God. Closer to Him. Say, God, I want. Tear my heart. Put your love. Oh, make me a carrier of your love and your glory. Come on, receive it. Receive it. We glorify your name. Yes, Lord. My joy comes from doing the will of my Father. Right here, I'm doing my will. You make sure you do the will of God. Yes, Lord, make me a carrier of your love. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. How many of you that love him? We love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hey! We glorify. Do you believe it? Some of you are falling in love with Jesus all over again. I feel it. Some of you are falling in love with Jesus. We magnify your name. Some of you are falling in love with Jesus. Nothing else is worth you bothering your life. 
or yourself. When you have Jesus and He's loving you, oh, Jesus, let those people go, they are small potatoes. Focus on Jesus, let Him become your focus. Amen. I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Come on. I love the heart, Sister Fatima. <laughs> oh. I love the heart. Thank you so much. She's washing me with love. Thank you so much. I received them. And I love all of you online. I love all of you so much. This heart, I know people always send them. But to me at this moment, it's so prophetic. I really feel like I'm being washed by the love of God. I don't know why she was just putting those hearts there. I felt I'm being washed by the love of God. That God is releasing his love in me. And I receive it. I really receive it. I receive it. So shall it be. I receive the love of God in my life. Thank you, Sister Fatima. I receive the love of God in my life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I receive it, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your love. God is good, amen. God bless you. If you have not shared this, please share. If you came a little bit later, you've not seen the whole video i really encourage you to go back and watch from the beginning but those of you who watch from the beginning also because it went so fast you may miss some things and to really soak yourself in the love revival you need to listen to the video over and over again in your private time put it on just soak yourself in it amen this night before you sleep just in your quiet time just be alone and just receive everything we have proclaimed Amen. That's how you receive a prophetic word. Bless you. Love you. Goodbye for today. Please keep me in prayer. Those of you who follow me and you say you are being blessed by my ministry, if you choose to sow a financial seed, I mean like sow money in my ministry to help me carry the ministry financially, please send me a messenger message and I will send you the details to um because you can you can you can send it to our bank account or you can pay power me if you want to sow into my life you ask me and i will send you the details amen god bless you bye bye i will put the information of my bank details on the chat so if you want to sow any financial seed you can 